really just a lot of ball pressure. Uh, everybody was locked in, seemed to be locked into their job, and the whole team just played as one unit tonight. Hey, Mike, I know you had 11 rebounds, and it seemed like the guards were all crashing boards, too. I mean, you know, a lot of guys at four, five, six. You know, I'm sure that was probably one of the biggest emphasis for you guys coming into this game, right? Yeah, no doubt. Uh, you know, the bigs against ourselves, we taught ourselves, we'll just do our job of boxing out, and uh, it'll open up rebounds for our guards, too, and they did that. Much of a challenge as Rico gathers in there. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big challenge, you know. Once that man is planted, it's pretty much said and done. So you just gotta just fight him with the boards. If not boxing out, then you actually gotta go get the ball. How important is it to get a big win like this heading into your rivalry game against Oklahoma? I know I didn't like the way that last one went, but to get a good win like this maybe bring some momentum into it. Uh, you know, it's good, you know, uh, heading in on some positive momentum. Uh, it gives us a little confidence as well. And, uh, you know, we got to move on from this game, though, because this game doesn't matter next game, so we got to be well prepared for the next one. Javar, you had a couple games earlier this season where you hit some threes that really changed the momentum of the game, but it's been a little while. It was nice to kind of see some of those go down. Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, it, just, it was just me getting back into the gym and keep shooting, getting my confidence back, that's all. Baylor's zone that allowed you to find those spots to find those open shots? It wasn't me. It was the coaching, uh, the way we ran our plays, and the point guards, really. Coach, can you talk a little bit about the block uh, you had after the dunk from Adrian? Yeah, it was just kind of a little bit of a dunk from Adrian. You know, I, uh, I told Sean, I was like, I got your back no matter what. So I saw he caught it. And uh, once he went middle, I just had it up in my mind that I was just going to go block the shot. And uh, Okay, I was able to get it. Of course, I know coaches continually looking for somebody to jump up and help out offensively. Tonight you did that, Newberry did it, Hickey did it. Just kind of talk about how much better you guys are when more guys are contributing. Oh, it, it, we we're way better because it opens up. It opened up a lot for Phil, LB. It opened up the middle also for Cabo. You know, it just, it just makes our team run better, smoother on this team. So is what you guys are experiencing, kind of the ups and downs, just sort of the newness of being in the Big 12? Yeah, definitely. I'm like, really, all the new guys, I think we're just trying to find consistency. That's really about it right now. For both of you guys, how's this game kind of lead some momentum into the OU game, and how badly do you want to get some revenge in that game? <laughs> uh, I'm not sure if it's about revenge, because I can come back and bite you if you try and play for revenge. But uh, I think we're really just focused in. Uh, we just want to have a good game and impress our fans. And uh, we love them coming out to support us, and we hope we have a spectacular crowd. Uh, I mean, we just come out, play our game, and, and it go how it go. That's really about it. <laughs> you can't do that now. If you would, you talked about you guys were locked in. And it seemed like you guys were locked in from the get-go. Everybody was you know, playing hard, uh, just kind of what was the preparation like for this game, and, and what was different maybe today than it was Saturday? Um, you know, everybody just taking it more seriously uh, and realizing at what point in the season that we are now. So uh, everybody knew we had to come back off of a loss and basically just respond. And uh, during every media timeout, you would hear somebody in the huddle say, you know, come on, let's take it up another notch, let's take it up another notch, let's get re-locked in. And, uh, you know, that's just great to hear teammates and other people say that to us, so we can get going. This is for both of you guys. What will you guys have to do differently against Buddy Hill this time around? Uh, nothing. You know, just just lock down. That's really that's pretty much it. I mean, he hit some tough ones. I give him that. He's a good player. He hit some, he hit some tough ones. We're just gonna come out. We're gonna play our defense, and, and we're gonna see how it go. Um, just gotta be more locked in. Uh, <coughs> challenge more of his shots. Be more uh, more physical with him. So many different people contributing in the game tonight. How good can you guys be if that's consistently what we see? Uh, it can be pretty good because you know we can. Uh, that in itself helps us go deeper into our bench and uh, provides us with more men to rotate with and uh, keep fresh legs on the court. Uh, everybody doing their job and everybody bringing their key pieces to the table. Uh, proud of my team's effort. Um, we showed a little bit of toughness tonight. Um, something we've been talking about as far as just battling and. Getting to 
50-50 balls and playing a little bit more physical style. And uh, I liked how we pushed the ball tonight. Um, and I thought we rebounded the ball for well for us against a really good rebounding team. And just proud of our effort, proud of the effort that we played with. Just what, what role he had. Well, we've said it a lot. Hickey's um, an important part of our basketball team, and when when he plays well, we, we it really helps our team. Um, you look at his stat line. You know, ten assists, um, eight points, four rebounds, and then he did. I thought a great job on a young man who I think is one of the better point guards in this league, uh, at least with how he's been playing and what he means to Baylor's team. Um, you know, so I thought he did a very good job on uh, on a player we have a lot of respect for in Kenny Cherry. You said to us yesterday, your offense rebound is almost a part of Baylor's offense. You see, help him eat second chance points. It's probably a big part of the game, right? Yeah, if you do that, you have a chance to win. If you don't, they're going to win. I mean, all this stuff's not hard to figure out, really, at this time of year, what it takes to win, you know, and, and what will cost you. Um, yeah, for our team, I thought it was a great, great effort, a great effort on, uh, on rebounding and on the glass by one of the best rebounding teams in the country, one or two best teams. They never seem to get into a flow that they wanted to get into because of the way you guys play defense. That's and we got after it. We got after it defensively, and we, we sustained it a little bit, something we haven't been doing. Um, and we had a little toughness to our defense. It wasn't one or two guys. It was everybody locked in. And it's the difference between winning and losing. Man. It's not hard to figure out. It's, uh, you know, I was talking to Hoka. It, not hard to figure out. We had contributions from a lot of guys. From the three spot, we come up with 21 points. We don't get that, we probably don't win. It's just like, it's not hard to figure out. We didn't get any different shots than we got the other day. They went on tonight. <laughs> You'd like to bottle it and repeat it. I would love to bottle it. Anybody got any ideas to bottle it? Let me know. That's going well at home. A lot of times the shots are going in. And you talked about this two-game stretch. Is it nice to get this one against Baylor out of the way? Going to bed on it's nice to get any win. Period in this league. <laughs> we, we just enjoyed this one for the night, and it was a good win for our team. And um, got to got to move on uh, to the next one. We know the next one gets a great challenge against a great basketball team. Sean, you just talk about him giving you a lift. Off yeah, the he gave us a lift off the uh, a lift off the bench. Did a great job. Finished in transition again. Some toughness. Yeah, I see all the points, and boy, we need the points, no doubt. But there's a lot of other stuff I like that how they played physical him and. Newberry, but that's why they made shots. I'm a, always been a firm believer. The harder you play and the more you focus on other things, if you're really focused on playing hard and physical and playing defense, it's amazing how your shot works, how, how it goes in. I've always been a believer of that. What did you learn from that last OU game that you can take to this one? Just learned how good OU is. Very good basketball team. Hopefully we can play a little bit better. Cobbins very good, very good. Played like one of the best defenders in the country and rebounded, defended, blocked shots, scored, um, really was locked in, locked in. Really, uh, you know, uh, affected the game in a lot of ways, and that's what he does when he, again, when he's doing that, we'll have a chance. He gives us a good chance. Did you see his confidence rise? I think he's, I think he's put some good games back. Uh, the last three games, I think he's played well. thought he played okay against K-State, against Texas Tech. I thought he played well. Um, and today might have been his best one he's had in a while. What specifically do you think you'll need to do differently against Buddy Heal this time around? Well, I hope we get a great crowd here Saturday night and make it an exciting bedlam game and build a place up and fans come out, a lot of great ticket prices, different packs just to get into this game. And I know everybody wants to be a part of it. And um, yeah, you know, what things you do differently, you try not to, hopefully he, you know, you do a better job on him. That's not hard to figure out uh, and just play a lot better in a lot of areas. We don't have time to talk about all the things we need to do better. But uh, um, they're a great team. They've proven that. Very, very good. Got a lot of great players. Um, and, uh, you know, we're going to have to play well. You, you, we've asked you probably too many times about the slow first halves. You guys, do you feel like you played your best 40 minutes today? Yeah, in a while. Definitely. It's a good point. Yeah, yeah. One of the better first halves we've had. Yeah, yeah. Get go to all the way to the end. Got to figure out how to bottle it up. Yep, you're right. It was. It was. There's no. There's. No, and it's good that you reckon. You know. Yeah. The, you look at stats. She say they must have played well. You know. They, but yeah, I think you look at our game here and you look at the previous couple games. It, it's a different mentality. But 
dealing with 18, 19, 20, 21 year old young men, man, I, you know, um, we've done a lot of things the last couple of days, try to get them ready. We'll kind of look at that, what, you know, what happened and what, what got it. And it's always, uh, it's always mind game, you know, it's always just, it's a mental thing. It's a mental thing, getting yourself ready. And uh, yeah, we're still, you know, you're always trying to figure it out. Every coach is at this point, get your team ready. Mm-hmm. You, know, you got a lot of new guys. So it's probably the first time that's really been explained to a lot. Yeah, we talked to them a little bit of de- about um, uh, what Remember the Ten is all about, and about the the ten we lost who are part of our family here, the basketball program, part of our basketball program family. And we talked about that, and then we took out there and we took our team out to the memorial and um, wanted to pay our respects. And um, I had a chance to go up and meet with some of the families before uh, before the game tonight, and. Um, you know, I told them, you know, uh, if you got anything a little extra in you, give it tonight for those guys. If you got a little extra in you, give it for those guys. And I uh, thought they did a good job. And uh, the guys talked about it. They wore their shirts um, and just want to honor uh, those 10 in any way we can. Um, 